Welcome to another episode of Beauty From My Car. Today I'm gonna show you my technique on how I blow dry my hair. I actually have insanely curly hair. It's like ringlets, it's very curly. Like, think of the movie Brave. That's how curly my hair is naturally. You know, I love curly hair, I appreciate curly hair, I just don't feel like it's me, and I think, honestly, I've just never managed to master it and make it look nice on me. I feel like my hair is wearing me versus me wearing my hair when it's curly. That said, if you have any tips or products I should try for curly hair that you swear by, please let me know. I've been blow drying my hair straight for years. I remember the first time I ever had straight hair. I was in sixth grade and my mom took me to this hair salon and this woman was like, oh, do you want me to flat iron your hair? And I was like, you can do that? I was honestly, I lived under a rock. I didn't know anything really about beauty until then. My mom was actually my beauty idol, my beauty my beauty mentor and I didn't even realize it. Like she was doing all these things, like she told me bangs weren't trendy anymore so I stopped wearing bangs and she told me I need to fill my eyebrows and I didn't listen to her but years later I'm like, I really wish I did. Thank you mommy, I love you. Back to the salon, they straightened my hair and my hair was really long, really curly, it was like down to my waist and so when it was straightened it was really long and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing and so I made my mom buy me a flat iron and I would ask her to flat iron my hair all the time. Pretty much until I think I graduated college I flat ironed my hair, not that regularly, I probably for the most part wore it curly, but when I wanted it straight I would flat iron it because I didn't even realize that you could blow dry it straight. Honestly, I feel like I lived under a rock until I was in college or after college even. Then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to do this at home. And at first it seemed so intimidating that I would never be able to do it. Um, but I just kept trying and trying and trying. I got a round brush, I got a blow dryer, and I feel like I finally have gotten pretty darn good at it. Anyway, let me take you through the process. So I start with washing my hair, and then I use this hair towel from Aquis, and I just wrap my hair up and I just go about my skincare routine, which is why in all the footage I have, my face is super shiny because I have a face oil on. Once my hair is kind of it's been in the towel for maybe like 20 minutes or so. Then I apply this Living Proof Anti-Frizz Styling Cream. I don't know if that's the correct name because I don't have it on me. I put that in my hair and I work it through. I start at the ends and kind of like massage it up. And then I rough dry it with my blow dryer. I love the one that I have from Amika. It's really powerful, so it took a little bit getting used to. And then I go and I go through and I kind of divide it into a bottom section, and then I tie the top part of my hair out of the way. I go through section by section with my round brush. And this round brush is, I don't think it actually exists anywhere because it was like a prototype that I got like four years ago, but it's like a boar bristle brush. You can pretty much get it anywhere. I'll leave a link to something similar down below. Um, so I go through section by section, and I have this technique that I feel like people probably will frown upon, but I, when I section my hair, rather than using clips or like taking the time out to tie it up, I actually use my mouth. I hold the wet sections of hair that I haven't dried yet in my mouth, and that just helps me break everything up because I really do have to go section by section because I have curly hair. Like if I just, if I just took a section and blow dried it and blow dried it and blow dried it, I'd end up with a frizzy mess. It would look all over the place. So. For curly haired girls, you really have to section your hair if you're blow drying it. Then I take another section on the side of my head, go through that section by section. I take maybe about like one to two inch sections and go over it until it's straight and dry. So then I do the other side, section by section. And then I do the top part of my hair and I kind of work from the back forward and I always over direct the hair forward and that's what's gonna give you a lot of volume. So then once I've blow dried my hair, it's still not perfect because I'm not 
that pro yet. After I've finished blow drying my hair, I take the Living Proof Anti-Frizz Oil and I kind of run it through the ends of my hair. And then I go over it with a flat iron and I get all those little bitty baby hairs around the hairline and any kind of wavy sections that I missed. And then that's it. Honestly, blow drying your hair just takes practice. It's really hard at first and intimidating and I actually can't blow dry other people's hair because I don't know how to move my hands um, but it just takes practice you have to keep working at it it's not gonna be perfect the first time you do it or maybe the 10th time you do it and honestly my blowouts still aren't perfect I could probably do better but I'm just a little bit lazy and I don't try that hard keep practicing if you have curly hair let me know your styling tips how you blow dry your hair any products you love that I need to try um, I want to know it all so that's it for this episode of beauty from my car tell me if you put your hair in your mouth and you blow dry it I want to know or if I'm just a weirdo let me know if I'm just a weirdo subscribe to my channel I'm just starting out so I would love the love um, subscribe make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time and let me know if there are any other topics you want me to do